So hi guys, my name is Fred Lavet. I'm the the founder and the CEO for Fanite Kenya Limited. I just want to take you through uh, what we've been doing for the last 10 years, how we started, where we started, where we are here today. You know, uh, clicking 10 years is not like a joke. You have to work, work, work extra hard. You have to be trustful to your clients. You have to show your people that you are there for them like 100%. Uh, the team you are working with, you need also to show, to show them that you are coordinating together. All the fundies, the hustle is strong, you know. So everything you are doing when you are following up with the Nashuguli uh, Yakimujengo, you have to be keen, you have to be to have experts, you have to have a very strong team behind you. And uh, to start off this uh, this 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 podcast, I want to let my followers know that Funny Tech Kenya Limited has closed 10 years. Yeah, we've closed 10 years since the start. And I'm here to thank my family. They have been a backbone of this company from the beginning up to the end. We've been together all through. The reason being uh, supportive. So I'll try to give you some few remarks here from my teams where we started and why here today. So the company started like 2014. We started the company in 2014. Uh, and our offices, where we opened up our offices, was at uh, Park Place. That is in first, second Parklands, second floor. That's where the, the company started. And many people have been wondering, is, do we do furnitures? Because the, the name is like Furnitech. Yeah, we don't do furnitures at all. But we started, the team that I had before when you we were starting, actually we started with the furnitures. But we've been moving step by step, baby step, baby step, baby step for the experience. So my life, I'll give you the briefing from back home. I, uh, okay, I come from the western side of Kenya. Uh, I went to school like any other child, uh, completed high school like any other child, went to college like any other child, and I happened to, to, to also to, to fall in love with politics. Uh, landed in Nairobi in uh, May, actually it was May 2008. That's when I landed in Nairobi. Uh, after doing my thing in western side of Kakamega, in particular Kakamega, I love my people Kakamega, I hope you are watching me. Uh, yeah, we started with you guys. So uh, being in Kakamega, I used to be uh, in school as well. And uh, also I used to have followers in politics, majorly the youth. So when I came to Nairobi, straight to school, I finished my, my civil work uh, courses. I finished my interior design courses. And I was like, I used to work during the day and the evening classes, I used to, want to attend my classes. So during the evening, that those are called part-time classes. I used to go for part-time classes, but during the day, I mean, I work for, for, for my people. I work for my, my boss, yeah, yeah. These are the people who raised me up. But before I tell you where I was working, let me tell you, uh, who inspired me, who made me to come from the village to Kakamega. This guy is called Donald Manyala. Kudos to Donald Manyala. Without you, my friend, I could not be here like today. You know where you, you took me and where you placed me, it was like a, a joke. But once you trusted me with what you gave me, you saw what I did. And I always tell my friend, without you, my, now, now I know you are also in Kakamega County and you are actually working as a clerk. In, the, in, 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 in county assembly. So my friend Donald Manyala, thank you so much. I'll continue appreciating you entire life, in my entire life for what you've done for me. Another appreciation goes to Honorable Musalem Mudavadi who took me up from school, uh, also trusted me with his work in parliament, in his, at his home, everywhere. I used to go with Musalem Mudavadi, you remember even 2013, Without you, boss, I could not also be here. The experience I had, yeah, made me now to open the company. So, guys, if you want to know the reason I opened the company, now this is the reason. When I, my, my, my bosses went home, you remember 2013, uh, Honorable Musala Mudavad went for the seat, and he didn't manage to get the seat. My member of parliament went home, he also didn't manage to get the seat. This is where now I decided, what should I do? Then it was 
no, it was May 2014 when I decided to open Fanitech Kenya Limited. And when I opened this company, I didn't know where to start, guys. I was like, now my guys have gone home. Who will give me jobs? And then I remembered the guys I used to work with, the plumbers, the carpenters, they are painters. They are even people who don't understand what they eat tomorrow. But for me, I had a privilege of knowing different type of people, believing that these people will give me connection to various, various, various opportunities in the country. So that's why I decided now uh, to, put up, to put up my socks and make sure that everything is okay with me. So guys, you remember uh, 2013, what happened in 2013? So Honorable Musala Mudavad, who was the Deputy Prime Minister, went home. We remember also uh, he was vying for president. He didn't manage to get the presidential seat. My person again, Honorable Manyala Kea, who was the Minister for Gender, always happened to go home. So all these things were happening at the same time, not forgetting even uh, 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 the jobs they used to give me and then I decided to open up the company. So when I opened up the company, everything went on well, 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 well. So my first job, <laughs> if I tell you guys, you can laugh about it, but it was a job that you can't even explain. So while I was just sitting in my office, the caretaker just passed through there, came and told me, Fred, you know, there's an Indian guy here who is looking for someone who can be able to fix a signage. Just imagine guys, a signage. I was like, a signage? Yeah, we can do that. He already had the signage, but now it's the person to come and install the signage. The first job was for 3,000 shillings. That was in 2014. First job was for 3,000 Kenyan shillings. So, nilifanya yo kazi vizuri sana, na gule kijana tulikuwa na tukafanya vizuri sana. Believe me, nilimaliza kazi na nikapata my 3,000. I paid the fundi, and the rest of the money was like 2K. I pocketed, I say, okay, this, this is good business. So I did what I could do with the money, hoping that another opportunity will come up. Yeah, as a young entrepreneur, I was hopeful that I'll get a bigger and bigger job. So when I believe the, I finished the one for the 2K, nearly managed Pia Kupata, another clan within the week. It didn't take much time, and this time it was a company. Yeah, company came up. Okasema, they are looking for somebody who can be able to do for them stainless steel handrail. Imagine, guys, you remember I didn't have the tools with me. I didn't have anything with me to do that job. But since I had an idea of how that job can be done, I took up the risk. One thing in business, if you want to achieve much, you have to take up the risk. When you take up the risk, everything becomes simple. Everything becomes like you are the only person who understands what you want your people to have. So when I took up the risk, I went further on and did the job very, 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 very well. And everyone said, Fred, actually you've done a good job. This is a good job. I took, I, I took the risk, and I took the risk, and I took the risk, and I took the for around one week or so. We finished the work, and I was also paid. Remember, guys, another thing that makes a business to be successful, you must have government documents regardless if you you are a person ule mwenye ukona briefcase company unasema wewe unatembeanga tu kwa barabara na vitu zako you must have that government documents they are very important guys remember i did this job for for a company and wananiambia wanataka receipt ya kra etr i was like now how will i get this it i went to talk to, the, to my friend again who is donald manyala again i told him my boss ebu give me like 20 g's i want to get an etr machine the guy, I'm a very sweet person. I can pay your pence. I went to bought the machine, the register company, and everything becomes super, super, super. I can pay an invoice, attach with the receipt, and everything becomes well. So, guys, these are still baby steps. Ebu kwanza, nichukue break kidogo ni kunywa pa imaji, ni anze kuambia, how did I manage to work for a multi-billion dollar company since 2015? Thank you so much. So guys, you remember this guy, this job I was selling you, your 3,000 job, the 3,000 shillings. Nikiwa pale Parklands and Tapkin install your signage. There's this friend of mine, Manyali, walk out, yeah, from the building. Hey, Fred, what are you doing here? Come on, be a boss, man. Man, so I just kiss me, I hustle. 
niko hapa juu na install hiyo signage the boy was surprised the guy was so surprised akaniuliza do you do this yes nikamwambia now uh, after politics i decided now to venture into business this is my company and this is the first job ni manza nayo akaniambia fred even me myself i'm doing what i'm going to resign by the end of this month that remember that is uh, 2014 yeah anambia are you sure you're going to resign nikamwambia yes i'm going to resign that's why i was telling you taking risk this guy is called evans jumba the encouragement the support he gave me na kaniambia please don't give up shikilia hapo watu wanza hivyo and remember I was a very small boy kaniambia fred i'm happy for you mimi nita na, naenda ku resign by the end of the month and i'm also going to open up an office along parliament road so all of us we are we were raised by politics and now we are just focusing on now having an another office my friend is focusing on having a, an office parliament road ile mind yangu ikaanza kunichanganya ni shift tu ku parklands ama ni kai kai but do you know what mean likaa tu parklands na kazi zilizidi kukuja in different ways in fact the building of parklands building ambao pia nashukuru mungu that's a very nice building you guys if you have business if you have uh, 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 look, uh, if you are looking for where you can place an office, mali hakuna interruption, ni park place, hapo parklands, uh, second, second parklands. That place, the people who are renting houses hapo, wala walikuwa nataka office partition, wala walikuwa nataka wapigwe rangi, wala walikuwa nataka tiling work, walikuwa nakuja kwa office na nipate hizo kazi. You can imagine. So I started with 3,000 going pole pole, pole pole, pole pole. Nika, nika trustiwa na 50,000 Nika trustiwa na 150,000 Siku hile nilipigua simu Out of that small area Inaito Parklands Niende kufanya kazi Westlands That's when I realized Camp, uh, Funny Tech is now growing I went to Westlands Na nikafanya kazi inaitwa Aluminium Office Partition Aluminium Office Partition is a simple job But it's a job that needs wale fundi ambao wanajielewa fundi ambaye yako sober minded fundi ambaye anajua atatoa kazi clean the joints for partitioning za aluminium in a fuzzy kwe intact so when you produce such a work believe me utamaliza hiyo kazi na utaenda kupewa kazi nyingine i'm telling you kazi tulifanya hiyo hiyo ya aluminium kuna mtu tu baadaye baadaye alikuja katembea hapa kauliza nilikuwa nataka kujua nani ambaye alifanya hii kazi ya aluminium partition Na akapewa namba yangu I think the reception Nilikuwa nimemuachia namba nikamambe Anybody utasikia kwa hii building Anataka afamye kazi kama hii patie namba yangu Guys, that's when I saw the hand of God That's where I realized kuna mungu Remember sasa tumeingia 2016 yeah? Tumeingia 2016 Na God asha onekana kitambo Mapema Mwanasemanga mapema ndiyo best God alionekana na uyo mtu Haka kuja haka nitafuta hapo park, park place. Haka naambia nataka kazi ya, 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 ya ofisi hafanyue. Lakini kazi nafanyua wapi? Machakos. Yeah? So guys, nilipewa BQ. Nikajaza. Kajaza vizuri yo BQ. Nikapambana nayo, nikapambana nayo, nikapambana nayo. Nika, 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 Nampelekea, ananiudishia. Nampelekea, ananiudishia. Nampelekea, ananiudishia. So we arrived at a figure of 9 point something million. Ambayo, it was my first job ya kukuot such amount. 9.5 million. Believe me, guys. This guy, alirudi on board, haka niongelesha. Haka naambia kazi kwa maliflani, nataka uende kwa hiyo site. Naka mwambia hii na shida, nikaenda. And this guy, mwenye tunongea na ye, kumbuka si client. Uyo ni mtu na architect. Amechora tu, sasa ya meambua atafute mtu wa kufanya yo kazi. The moment nilikutana na mwenye kazi, mwenye kazi ya kufikiria marambili, I have this 500,000. You know, 9 million. Mutu kukupatia 9 million ufanya kazi. It's not something easy. That uyo madama kanipatia half a million. Amenipea half a million lakini bado amenibeba ndani ya gari yake. Sisi yao hadi kwa hardware. Mali material inauziwa ya hey, aluminium. Sasa uzuri ama ubaya. Ye hey, hakushuka kwa gari. Kanambia Fred, your money is here. You can go and buy the material. Mimi niliingia hardware na nikanua material ya kitu kama 450,000 nikabaki na 50k. Nikasema hii 50k nitalipa. Hiyo si kazi kubwa nitalipa mafundi ndo wasinisumbue sumbue. So nikamwambia hii 50k nimebaki nao mama, wacha nibebe material ende site 
na ingine nitalipa wafanye kazi hapo na hapo huyo mama ni trust remember fred i've never seen a young person like you mwenye anajielewa tomorrow i'm going to send you 2 million so do you know guys wanasemanga at 40 kama uja make million uwezi make million mimi my first my first million nilitengeneza niwa nikiwa around 26 years And kumbuka hiyo ni sub nimepata sub inaitwa subcontract subcontract na kampuni ambayo tulikuwa nafanya hapa hiyo office partition inaitwa Golden Africa Kenya Limited you see guys na sisi tuko na Fanitech Kenya Limited inakuonyesha niko na vision fulani Kenya pia hii kampuni yetu inaitwa Fanitech lazima ikuwe kubwa kama ile Golden Africa Kenya Limited So guys niliproceed hivyo nikamaliza hiyo kazi ya partition kabla nimalize hiyo kazi pap i used to wake up so early nikaenda kufanya hiyo kazi hapo Golden Africa yeah na ukumbuke ule mali nipatia kazi hata onekanangi site ni mimi tu ndio naenda na mafundi wangu nini na nini yeah i remember i had three fundis i can remember them na bado tuko nao fundis guys you know mimi niko na mafundi wenye nilianza nao hii kazi lakini bado tuko na wao hadi saa hii Believe me for the last year 10 years tunaongelea saa hii sijai kosana na client sijai kosana na fundi sijai kosa kulipa mtu sijai kosa kulipa serikali na mimi ndio huyo hapa nawapatia story ya, ya kampuni it means that when you have something we call a channel of working kazi yake inakuwa mzuri i only had three fundis i remember the erico ah mali uko bro tuko pamoja lazima tutafika huko pamoja jamaa mwingine anaitwa manzia na kuna jamaa pia anaitwa George. Those are the guys I used to be on site. Na wao. Huh? Tukiuliza swali ambayo inanishinda, mimi niko hapo najaribu kuwajibu na waambia hii tutafanya hivi, hii tufanya hivi, hii. Kama ni drawing tunakuja tunaja assemble sisi wote tunaangalia drawing. Jamaa mmoja anaitwa Manzia ndiye alikuwa at least ako sawa anaelewa kila kitu. Manzia anatuambia sasa hii itakaa hivi, hii itakaa hivi, hii itakaa hivi. But I managed to do that job like a hundred percent. Na kumbe nikifanya yo job, yeah? Director, Mr. Bulgani, thank you so much. Alikuwa na kuja asubui like 6 a.m. in the morning. Jamaa na ingia, like siku anajuanga ni director. You know that company ni awajamaa kutoka Malaysia, uko Egypt, yeah? Hizo ni ya warabu, to be in short, hiyo kampuni. So, jamaa, anakuja mapema lakini uwezi jua ndio director ama ndio general manager anakuja naangalia 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 ananiambia i love your job i love your job na shindo mtu ananiambia anga hivi atanipa kazi nyingine ndio hii naona hii ya umama inaelekea kuisha <laughs> lakini Mungu si athmani this guy actually recommended me to stay in that company for the next how many years Five years so you know, 2015 up to 2020 nikiwa tu kwa hiyo kampuni si ati nimeandikwa job no niko hapo kama contractor the company had like <laughs> 50 contractors wenye wanajiweza wako na machines wako na nini wako na nini lakini believe I was also among the 50 contractors but the youngest can you believe how wote walienda wakaniwacha mimi yeah i used to be there nikifanya job yeah and uh, one of the engineers ma alikuwa anafanya kwa hiyo kampuni now is work tunafanya kazi na yeye ambaye anaitwa Nicholas Cheriot he is with us here working with us as a, our, 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 our site engineer so this tells you the baby step i was having nikifanya kazi kwa hiyo multi billion company is the same same guys they have come to team up with me they want to be like me Yeah they want to 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 see that this company also grows to be a multi million dollar company like the golden africa company and this is something that i always tell my friends when you're working uh, to achieve something that you want it to help you in life lazima uwe na kitu inaitwa trust so mnaweza niuliza kwani hizi miaka zote sijai pata challenges na clients sijai pata challenges na hizi kazi tunafanya yes nime encounter a lot of challenges challenges ambazo nime encounter sa zingine uh, umemaliza kazi client amependa kazi yako 
anakuja na kuongeza kazi ingine out of the contract sasa si mmeshazoeana na huyo client na roho yetu mzuri hii unaamua wacha umfanyie hiyo client anakuambia this is was part of the contract na hakuna kitu utafanya juu sasa wewe uliona ni mtu mzuri umemalizia kazi you want to make her, her or him askie vizuri unaenda unafunga hiyo kazi unafanya venye anataka kumfanyie unapata eh hey, jamaa amekugeuka na unajua ni kazi gani tunafanya jamaa ndio hizi hapa aluminium windows and those fabrication stainless steel balustrade tunafanya frameless shower cubicles tunafanya gypsum ceilings design tunafanya electrical and wiring tunafanya painting work and skimming work on the walls sisi ndio hao bado tunafanya tiling and flooring works tunafanya modern kitchen na kutoleo jikoni yako ya Oshago tunakuwekea jikoni ya Nairobi tunakuwekea jikoni ya, ya USA tunakuwekea jikoni ya Egypt that's why it's called a modern kitchen tunakuwekea welding works man sisi ndio expert bado tunakufanyia kazi safi upande wa welding works na plumbing works ambayo inaleta yango watu shida kwa hizi manyumba mnanunua yeah If you are buying a house mimi na ninge kwa advice yeah the first thing kabla uwekelee pesa yako chini angalia plumbing works ya hiyo nyumba wacha kwa tu unakimbia hapa na pale juu umekwambia ni 2 million unakimbia unanunua nyumba ujui ni nini angalia plumbing works make sure pia umeangalia electrical and wiring those are the things that gives people stress when they are actually uh, taking over or buying a house when you look at those things make sure you have an electrician with you your own electrician make sure you have your own plumber so that akuangalilie hizi vitu uone kama zinafanya kazi functionality of this thing should be good ingia kwa jikoni yako umenunua nyumba angalia functionality of the kitchen is good ingia kwa bathroom angalia the functionality of the bathroom is good usikimbie tu kununua nyumba juu kwa na pesa yeah na ile mambo ya kusema ati ati mnapenda vitu cheap hamtaki ku, ku, kufanywa kazi na contractors nani alisema contractors are expensive ita huyo contractor kuja documentation kama ujaelewa quotation akuelezee quotation hii inakuja hivi kwa sababu ya hii na hii na hii na hii and by the way using a contractor is so good ukitumia contractor in case contractor afanye makosa anywhere kwa hiyo kazi yake anagaramika yeye mwenyewe. Hakuna mahali atakwambia ati nilikuwa nimenunua glasi kapasuka, sasa nilikuwa naomba unipatie pesa. No, kama mlikuwa mealewana ni 200 bob, hiyo ni 200. Hakuna mahali atakuja kukusumbua akwambie, "Oh, anataka hii na hii na hii." You get? So sometimes it becomes easy, it becomes so easy, eh? It becomes easy for you to go with the contractor than going directly to a fundi. Fundi unajua akisikia kazi ni ya 10 bob ama akisikia analipwanga 10 bob na unampatia 20 bob atakuja akufanyia hiyo kazi akikuja kufanyia hiyo kazi believe me akifanya tu mesi kidogo hivi atatoroka hautamuona but contractor hawezi toroka so when you are doing your own research to find the, the correct person to work for you please angalia hizo vitu nimewaambia Make sure ukitaka kununua nyumba yako narudia tena angalia mambo ya plumbing works angalia mambo ya electrical and wiring guys make sure kama wananunua eh, bungalow kama wananunua bungalow guys ama bungalow vile mnasemanga kama wananunua bungalow make sure the roofing has been done to standard Juzi juzi kumekuwa na mafuriko Hii mafuriko watu wameteseka sana juu ya roofing standards ambazo nyinyi mnapigwa tu misumari pa 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 ah, mnasema nyumba iko sawa ngoje ile siku mvua itanyesha umeweka uh, gypsum ceiling on your, on your, on your, in, in your house And then you will realize that you guys have done a wrong thing so sometimes it happens kuna makosa tunafanyaga kama contractors but kuna makosa ingine sisi mimi kama contractors siwezi fanya as in nikufanyie roofing baya urudi kesho unyeshe uniambie nikuja nifanye tena ati nimekuwekea ceiling hiyo ceiling imeenda kombo ati nimekuwekea tile ukikanyaga tile unasikia inatoa pop sound pa 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 no 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 hiyo no. sisi hatufanyangi ati nimekufanyia plumbing works kwa nyumba yako <laughs> na maji imejaa na, na, na pipes zimejaa airlock hakuna pressure yeah so wewe ukifanywa vitu kama hizo na wewe unaona uko na vitu mzuri then uko na shida please when you are going to my clients 
I love you so much. Mukiangalia kazi, mtu wa kuwafanya kazi, don't look at the figure. Look at the quality. Amba anataka kufanya. Na hapa funny texisi tunasema hivi. We give the client whatever the client wants. Why am I saying that? We give quality. Tuko flexible. We, na time delivery yetu ni like 100%. Those are the key things about si tunambia clients with. Quality, delivery, na time. Iyo ni vitu ya maana sana wakati unaambia client unataka kumfanyia kazi fulani. But huku nje pia kuna client wa ajabu. Kama kazi likuwa ya 5 million na umefanya kazi na mwezi moja, <laughs> ataona umekula pesa yake. But it depends on workmanship. How you have arranged your team. Hapa fari teksisi ni watu wa kujipanga. The team you are having on board ni team wenye hata mimi si lazima ni kue site. Useme Fred ni kutumia pesa na ukuji site. No, 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 no. Mualao watu kama sisi kwa sababu sisi tunafanya kazi Kenya Muzima that when we are working with you is not a must for me to be there. The team ambayo imekuja kwa hiyo site ina represent Fanitech Kenya Limited. Kukiwa na makosa, you will come back to us and tell us that uh, give you this work, this and this has happened and we didn't like this. Are you going to do the, uh, to do the correction? I'm it back him. That's how work in a fine. So you allow me to move around to also ni udumie clans wengine but usiwe na pressure ya kutaka kujua niko wapi because this is a company that is well known na tuko kila mahali na aturingi na tunataka tu kuambia kwamba once umetupatia kazi we guarantee you kazi yako tutaifanya na moyo moja like a hundred percent. So I've told you the challenges tunapatanga. Hmm? Kama funny tech pia tunapata client ame anapenda kazi yako sana anapenda yana muona wewe kweli you, are, you guys are doing a good job but sasa hafiki bei tuko na favorable way of making payments tunamwambia hii job yenyewe ufiki 30 bob okay but we can give you a payment plan on how utamaliza hii kazi our, our payment method ndi nafanya our customers pia wanatupenda you understand? So we give them whatever they want at affordable rates. If you don't have that affordable amount to pay us, tunakupatia payment plan. Muda niuliza, na hii kampuni yako, mbona, eh, how did you manage to pick up from 2016? Mwambia, 2016 to 2020, nilipewa kazi na kampuni, na nilikuwa na dedicate myself like 100%, ambao nimefanya pesa, ambao nikiwambia hapa mutashituka. So, hiyo ni mimi na baki nao mwenyewe. But from there, you know guys, we have what we call social media marketing. Ambayo mimi nilipick right away from 2016, all the way ukiangalia wa social media handles, tuko hapo. Na ukitaka kujua watu si kon. I want to teach you guys, Mukita Kujua, these are legit people like us. We are coming on camera telling you we are legit. Number one, Angalia, their social media uh, status. Kama kona kampuni, Angalia kampuni yake. Ukimaliza kwa Angalia kampuni yake, kimbia mbio, ingia kwa personal status yake. Mimi kama Fred, utanipata Fred Lavate, ingia palu ni Angalia. Ukisha ni Angalia, usitosheke na iyo, Angalia muuja ma, ni mutu ma, anaiza, anaiza beba 100 million, ni mutu anaiza beba 500 million. How would you judge that? Angalia hui mutu wako na familia. Mimi I'm proud being an engineer. I'm proud being a contractor. I'm proud being an interior designer. I'm proud being also a family man. These are the complete details I can give you for free. Mimi ukikuja kwa profile yangu, utapata ni kwa na familia. Na ambao naipenda sana. Nimewambia, this is a family that has been with me. Nikianda ishuguli e, ya mjengo. Na sioni nikiwacha. Naona ni kichapa kazi hii Kenya, so mtu amini. Na pia tunavuka hadi huku East Africa. Sisi tuko tu hapa na pale kufanyia wa Kenya kazi mzuri. You understand? So guys, make sure you, you, you actually uh, engage in our activities zile tunafanya hapa na pale. I want to tell you also, kama muna tuitaji, kama muna tukwana services mzuri, vile muna kutupata. You can immediately find us on all social media handles. But I want to start with the major one. Pale utajua sisi hawa jamea nyo ni watu legit. Yeah? We have a website. www.fkl.co.ke Pia, we are on YouTube. Funny Tech Kenya Limited. 
We are on Facebook, Funny Tech Kenya Limited. We are on, uh, on Twitter, popularly known as X, Funny Tech Kenya Limited. And not forgetting Instagram, Funny Tech Kenya Limited. So guys, I've been your, uh, I've been your host today. Mimi naito Fred Lavate, or you can call me Fred Lavette, one of the, uh, one of the contractors in Kenya. And Hatu uh, Batishi. We, we, we deal with interiors and exterior finishes. Kama ukona nyumba pale majengo, ukona nyumba Mombasa, ukona nyumba Kitale, Tanzania, yeah, Uganda, yeah, within the areas I've mentioned, usichoke kutupigia simu. Number zetu zikutakudana na hapa chini ya video zetu, our numbers are running down here, ambazo zitawaelekeza jinsi muneza kutupata. We also have an office. We are located along Thika Road, near TRM, Thika Road Mall, Lumumba Drive, Imani Plaza, fourth floor. So guys, thank you so much for staying here with me. I love you so much. See you in my next video.